first thing you got to do is take action. Now, you ain't got to be too hasty if it's not required, but don't lose too much time. You know, I get asked all the time, like, Rob, well, how do I know when it's time to take action? Well, you know, what I offer you is, is when the idea is hot and the emotion is, is so strong that you can't resist taking action. You know, that's really the time to act. You know, I get asked about something simple like my, my home library all the time. You know, they ask like, you know, I'd like to have a library like that. Well, it starts with getting the first book. Now, if we just stop right there and just take pause, it really is that simple. But most people won't do it. They won't get the first book. They'll just sit there and admire the library and they won't take the first step to achieving it for themselves. It sounds simple, but I'm gonna break it down for you a little bit more. I mean, if you really feel strongly about it and you want a library like somebody else's, and this is just something simple, we're just talking to the library, just using that as a metaphor. You want that library. It's something as simple as getting the first book, but you won't even take the first step to go get the book. Then you really don't want the library. You don't want it. You just admire something that somebody else has had, and it's a thought and an idea that'll pass. So why is buying the first book and the second book so important? Because that is the action step. That is the first step required to accomplish the final result desired. You have to take action. That first step has to be identified and immediately has to be initiated. And you have to do it before the idea passes, why it's hot, before it diminishes into the night and it becomes just a second thought, something that just happened. You have to act when the idea occurs. Not hastily, not without thought, but with strategic precision. So once the idea occurs and you have it in your head and it's something that you feel strongly about, you have a strong desire towards it, it is extremely important that we identify the first step and take immediate action. Because if you don't, this is what happens. We call it the law of diminishing intents. We intend to when the idea strikes, then we intend to when the emotions are high. And I'm telling you, if you don't translate that into action pretty soon, then the idea will diminish, diminish, diminish. Then a month from now, a couple months from now, the idea is cold. A year from now, you don't even think about it anymore. How many ideas, great ideas that you have had that just passed in the night because we didn't take action? So you see, we really have to take action. And you have to set up a discipline when the emotions are high and the enthusiasm about the idea is still fresh. You know, somebody brings up something about health and you start talking about health and you say, oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna get, grab a book on health. Then you immediately go out and get the book. I mean, you don't need the conversation, but eventually after you leave that company, you go and get the book. Otherwise, the wisdom is wasted. And that's truly what people don't get. Hey team, it's your friend Rob Lytle here, encouraging you to take action in your life today. And I'll see you at the pinnacle.